Welcome to Rick's Pipe Dream Magnetic Motor Generator. There are two reasons why I've named this project this way. The first reason is that my name is Rick and it has long been my dream to build a working magnetic motor generator. The second reason well, according to Wikipedia, the online encyclopedia, a pipe dream is a fantastic hope or plan that is generally regarded as being nearly impossible to achieve. And I think that uh, a lot of people would agree that perhaps a magnetic motor generator is nearly impossible. Then again, I think there are many people, including myself, who believe that such a project is a possibility. And my aim is to hope to prove this and to show people how this can be done. Uh, so far, the project is in the early stages of construction and testing although uh, there have been some promising results. You'll notice that another reason uh, why I call this Rick's pipe dream is because the frame of the unit is built of PVC pipe and couplings. So actually there are three reasons for the name of the project. As you can see, there's a bicycle wheel suspended between two metal plates which are attached to the frame. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit so you can see that better. Now you can clearly see that the wheel axle is suspended between the two metal plates. Uh, there's absolutely nothing here that could turn the wheel other than the magnetic forces involved. I know there's been a lot of excitement lately about the Milo project and unfortunately also a lot of uh, disagreement as to whether or not his setup actually works as is claimed. I for one believe that Milo's experiments were the genuine article and I'll be showing in a moment how the forces which Milo used the magnetic forces, that is, actually do propel the wheel into rotation. Having said that, though, I want to point out that uh, my build is a radical departure from Milo's project build, and I'm sure that anyone can see that, where Milo uses an aluminum rotor of about uh, 17 and three quarter inches I believe. I'm using a steel bicycle wheel which is roughly hmm, about 22 and a half uh, inches in diameter. It's, uh, it's actually a 26 inch wheel although bicycle wheels uh, the dimensions of bicycle wheels are named for the tire size uh, and that's why it's called a 26 inch wheel. Another difference in my project from Milo's is the fact that I'm using neomagnets, neodymium magnets, uh, whereas Milo is using ceramics which are quite a bit weaker. 
Now it's very difficult to build a magnetic motor using neodymium magnets and uh, this does raise some problems which have to be addressed but I think I can demonstrate how these problems can be overcome and I'll be doing that also in a few moments if you'll just bear with me. I'm going to move the camera in a little bit closer here and uh, get a kind of a top-down view so I can demonstrate better to you uh, the way the magnetic forces are working. Now before I start in with the demonstrations I want to show that uh, the bicycle wheel is perfectly level. I have a digital readout carpenter's level and it, it will read to one-tenth of a degree. Uh, currently we're sitting on zero, zero. But this is just to show you that the wheel is level. There's no trickery involved. And I also leveled it from the side in the same way.